Sarah, it's your girl. Seriously, it's Sarah. Before I say anything else, please don't mind if you subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, hit that notification bell. Be sure to like this video and while you're at it, share it with the rest of the world. So you guys are probably wondering why my face is so zoomed in. Well, I'll tell you why. It is the year 2019. We have a lot of work on our hands, my friends. A lot to test, a lot to compare, a lot of appointments to make to the dermatologist in case of skin damage. This year's gonna be fun. This is going to be the year of the skin and face, face skin. So many companies are putting out foundations concealers, setting powders, it is endless. So today we are testing out the newest Morphe foundation. Now let me tell y'all a little something. Morphe stores are currently non-existent in my area, which really surprises me because I even live in Southern California. So I bought this online and buying foundation online, you are taking a huge bullet. You can either be saved or be f***ed. In this case, f***ed. Yeah, it was really hard choosing the lightest shades for me without testing them out. And it's hard enough choosing a foundation as it is. Some people say I'm more olive. Some people say I'm more yellowy. Some people say I'm more pinkish. To this day, nobody knows what shade I am. Not even myself. So you know what? I decided to go between yellow and pink. Neutral. So that's what I got. Neutral. Yeah, I... The foundation I got is a F1.20. And this does indeed have some uh, yellowish undertones. But the reason why I say that I could have screwed myself over is because I didn't realize how light this foundation is compared to my go-to one. Let me just show you guys in the swatches. So this right here is my go-to foundation. This is the... <laughs> Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I've been using this for a while and this is honestly one of the fewest foundations I found that actually match my skin tone. And this right here is the Morphe. More bright, more yellow, just like a candle. This guy, however, this is more like the pig next to the candle. So I am first going to prime my face. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. Okay, so I'm gonna do one side Morphe and the other side Maybelline. And I might look a little freaky, but it's a good thing I decided to stay home today. I don't think it looks too bad. In fact, I think, I think it can work with this. I'm not sure about you guys, but I feel like I'm starting to look like Too Faced. Not two-faced, the person now, as in personality. I mean, character. Not my character, a Batman character. Okay, so can't really tell right now, but this is where the real magic happens. So I'm gonna have this on for a few hours. I'm gonna go set my makeup and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been about approximately three hours. Now I do want to say, before Morphe put out their foundation, there were a few uh, beauty influencers that did test this out beforehand, and they did state that it does feel a little dry after a while, which is true. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, this side definitely feels and looks a little bit more dry uh, compared to the Maybelline. And also, it kind of synced into my fine lines more compared to this side. However, it's it's not bad. Yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Um, but so far, so good. Okay, so it is the next day. So, as I said before, this does feel a little dry. Now, it's it's not that bad, but it is a little dry compared to my other foundation. I will agree what Manny MUA said. If you have dry skin, you probably won't like this as much. I didn't have much of a problem because I actually have normal skin. And if you have oily skin, uh, you probably won't have much of a problem. In terms of the shade, even though this was a shade lighter than my other foundation, um, it wasn't too bad, and honestly, I can actually work with it. I heard it's better to go a shade lighter than a shade darker than your usual found foundation shade. Because, you know, when you put on blush and bronzer, it just makes your face darker. And the last thing is coverage. Um, 
I do indeed feel like this is full coverage. In fact, when I was applying it, I kind of felt like I put on a little bit too much. Good thing I had my beauty blender to pick up the excess. So would I wear this foundation again? Yeah, um, it's not really that bad. And because of that, I would, I would indeed recommend this product. And again, this might not work for like every skin, but I think it won't be too bad. Um, just not for the elderly. It'd probably bring out the wrinkles.